Hello, everybody. Uh, today I am sharing my thoughts about Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive, definitive edition, as I just completed this game. And as you all know, who watch this video, sh surely that this game has uh, these uh, three games, GTA 3 Definite Edition, Vice City, and Sunrise Definite Editions, have gotten a lot of hate. And for a reason, because when these game, games released in 2021, if I remember correctly, they were in horrible condition. Okay, we all know that. Uh, and, 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 yeah, we all know that. But, but, but when I played and I just completed Grand Theft Auto 3, the Definite edi Edition, I gotta say that this game is actually pretty good. This is much better than I expected. And I have played the originals, uh, original classic Grand Theft Auto games in uh, on PlayStation 2, on PlayStation 2 and PC. So I know these games. Uh, and overall, I gotta say that this is pre pretty good. I know that there's a lot of people on Reddit and all the other forums that say that, yeah, it's not worth it. You know, like Grand Theft Auto uh, 3. Vice City and San Andreas uh, Divinity Editions are not worth it. Well, I don't agree. I just bought it on a sale from Steam, and I gotta say, this game is, uh, these games are pretty good. Oh come on, why, why did that guy run me? Uh, yeah, it's like I gotta say that overall, really, really good, good game. As I just completed this, and look at these graphics. Like, yeah, it might not feel like original, you know. But there's like, like it's still good. I, I liked it. Yeah, it's not the same as originals. Okay, it's not. But it's still a goddamn good, you know. Like I really liked it, you know. And uh, did I have some bugs? I didn't. I actually didn't have any game breaking bugs. I didn't have any. Yeah, there was few bugs in, uh, like in one or two missions there were like few bugs, but they weren't game breaking. You know, they weren't anything game breaking, you know, so I didn't have any problems. And I really love the new additions that uh, uh, the Grove Street games made, like they made this uh, radio wheel. This is really good. This is much better than the original system. This is much easier and better to use. And also you have the weapon wheel. Same thing. Like, like all, uh, all you guys who have played Grand Theft Auto V knows this, like the weapon wheel. Game slows down in the background and you can select the weapon. And this is, uh, I, I really like these additions. I really lo like them. Uh, also the, uh, like shooting has also improved. So yeah. Let's take this so we can get that star away. But yeah, I, I like these graphics and all. I like, you know, like it's funny when you read in on Reddit, for example, like all these people have all these problems, but I think they're faking it. You know, you can call me crazy, but I think they are faking it. Yeah, I know that there is still some problems in 2024, of course, but I didn't have, have any game breaking bugs, so that's pretty funny, you know, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, like overall, uh, uh, would I, uh, how I would say this, uh, would I recommend, recommend to buy Grand Theft Auto, the Definite Edition, for $30, uh, I mean, if you have played this, classic games already uh, yes I think that you if you want to uh, how about I say it if you want to uh, re-experience these classic games uh, in 2024 I think this is a good way to experience them these definite editions as they have as Crow Street games and Rockstar games have fixed these games yes there is still uh, there are still some problems there of course but they are still fixed and they're really playable, you know? So yeah. 
Nice stunt there. Let's look at this explosion. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But yeah. Let's fuck him up. There we go. So yeah, I would recommend recommend to experience these games. If you like of course, if you want to go and play these OG games in their OG form, you can. You can still buy the OG uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas from Rockstar's Game Launcher. But I still think that you can experience this game pretty well in in these definitive editions. So yeah, Our, overall I can say that this game, uh, okay, Let, I think that Grand Theft Auto 3 is the worst game of this trilogy, uh, trilogy, okay? I think that San Andreas and Vice City are much better games from gameplay perspective and story per perspective than Grand Theft Auto 3. But still, Grand Theft Auto 3, I liked it. The story is okay, the gameplay is pretty good. And overall, it's a nice game. And I, I'm starting to play Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Definite Edition, next up. So I will also make some video about it. Maybe the same type of video that I did now. So yeah, I gotta say that pretty, pretty good game overall. And I did not have any problems whatsoever. Yes, there is some problems, of course, <laughs> like I have said already. But they don't matter, because they are so small, you know? So yeah. But yeah, overall good game, and I re if you want to experience these classic games in OG4, like, if you want to experience these classic games in 2024, I think that definite editions are a really good way to experience them. Uh, also, did I have any performance issues? Not really. I have pretty okay computer. So that's also helped, but I did not really have any uh, performance issues. So yeah, overall, pretty good game, and I think that's the video. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.